Frankenfish. It had to be Frankenfish. I've referenced for Frankenfish when it comes to ridiculous shark movies a couple times, but apparently I have not actually reviewed it. Or if I had, it somehow disappeared. So I'm going to talk about Frankenfish. It is a sci-fi original movie, I believe. One of two that were commissioned, produced, whatever you want to call it, about the snakehead fish incident. If you want to know what that is, look it up, because at the moment I don't remember. Anyway, it's about some big mutant fish. In this one, it sort of resembles almost like a lungfish, at least the juveniles. I say the juveniles because the monster on the box is only seen for about the last two to five minutes of the movie. I was first shown Frankenfish in college by a friend, and it's something else. I don't know... I don't know if it quite hits the depths that Mega Shark vs. Giant Octopus hits, but it's close, if not if not worse. Basically, there's some big ass fish thing doing some business in the bayou, bayous of Louisiana or whatnot, and this cop that's from the area, comes back to sort of investigate it, along with this hot, vaguely Asian-looking biologist. This chick is on the cover in a swimsuit. She is never in a swimsuit in the entire movie. Cop ha manages to run into someone who he used to, like, know in high school and had a crush on, and she's there with her fiancé, which her mom doesn't like, and Basically, we're introduced to all these characters that happen to be living on top of these houseboats. There's a couple stoners, a couple good old boys, uh, big fishers, and a, the chick, her fiancé, her mom, who is into uh, voodoo, essentially. I think there's a couple other characters, but really they kind of all just run together. The most important character is the cop, the love interest, love interest fiance, I'm gonna say, just because he has some funny lines. He's kinda of, he's kind of that scaredy cat jackass, but some of the things he says are kinda of funny. And so what do you know? Shit starts happening and these fish start biting people's heads off and knocking over the boats, knocking them in the water, eating them and I'm glossing over a lot, but there's really not much to say. This movie's literally only like 80 minutes long, you know. You can check it out on YouTube if you want. There's not much to it. Eventually it gets down to business. Into the, what I consider is the funniest, by far, part of the entire movie experience. Where one of the good old boys finally kills one of the fish. It was like it had like hopped up on his house, but was about to grab it and like shoots. And then he shoots it with a gun, a rifle, shotgun. I don't remember what it was. It had previously eaten his buddy, so he turns it over, rips out its heart, puts it on the barbecue, cooks it, <laughs> adds some seasoning, and totally eats it. it total. What else is there to say? Of course, the other fish comes up and eats him, drags him off. And then the the gun he leaves there actually gets caught in like some fire and shoots off, killing the hot Asian chick. To which the panicky guy gets one of my favorite lines of the movie. The house actually killed someone or shot someone or something like that. And that's about the movie right there, folks. Eventually some Asian dudes and their contracted big white hunter come in and uh, they're revealed to be the ones that are responsible for this mess. Apparently they were trying to create this big fish to be like a sushi market or something. Sushi provider. I don't know. 
It doesn't really matter. Half of them die in the first 10 seconds you see him anyway. So the big white hunter takes his, like, uh, hover crab, hover, hover boat, I think hover boat, to go find the fish's lair. I think he brings, like, the white guy, the cop, maybe, uh, the fiance, the cop, maybe someone else. The big fish shows up, the one on the cover, it's like, you know, giant. It totally eats the big white hunter. They're chasing the rest of the heroes down. The fiance falls off and swims to safety or whatever, he's drunk. The cop and the love interest are there. They figure out, they break the hover, bo hover boat, and I think they took the cover off of it or something, because the frankenfish totally runs into it, gets all chopped up, blood spurts everywhere. That's basically the movie. In the credits, the fiance gets eaten by like the spawn or something, leaving the sequel. But <sighs> something like this barely constitutes as a movie, you know. I, I think maybe it's a little better than Mega Shark vs. Giant Octopus because it's mostly funny. It doesn't quite reach the point of being so bad that it hurts again. It's still in the so bad it's funny range. I don't suggest paying money for this. Please, God, don't support this. If you're going to watch it, go click on the link on YouTube. Uh, I'm sure Toxic Doom could find a link or I could give you one or something, but God, this one is bad. Jaws 4 is better than this one. That's pretty bad. I'll see you next time with whatever... whatever uh, Whatever shark movie scrapes the bottom of the barrel. See ya.